Good evening, I'm Leonardo Puglisi. This is Six News. Tonight, Treasurer Josh Frydenberg tests negative for coronavirus after a coughing fit during a speech in Parliament. <coughs> also fears the arts and entertainment industry will be hit hard with less people likely to attend large gatherings in the future. The federal government set to appoint a chief mental health officer to help the well-being of Australians. Anger after Liberal MP Tim Smith labels the Premier Chairman Dan. You are a disgrace. And it's been described as Donald Trump's media meltdown. The US president abruptly ending a press conference after evading questions about Barack Obama. Obamagate. And what some are calling a racist remark. Ask China that question. Six News starts now. First tonight, Josh Frydenberg has tested negative for coronavirus following a coughing fit during a speech in Parliament. The Treasurer was speaking on what would have been Budget Day when he began to cough, uh, cough uncontrollably. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> like, uh, so. <coughs> like, it's alright. My voice has got down. <coughs> the Treasurer was tested for COVID-19 as a precaution, his results coming back as negative. Bob Catter also spoke about the coughing fit. And to show you and I are trendy, back in black, highway to hell. I'm Treasurer. Cough, cough up the money. Make money. Make money. <laughs> To tonight's view poll, and we're asking, would you be likely to attend large gatherings in the next six months if it was possible? On Instagram, 68% of you said yes, you would go out. 32% of you said nah, let's stay home. On Twitter, a bit different, a whopping 80% saying no, 20%. Only 20% wanting to go out. Make sure you have your say on our Facebook, Twitter and Instagram pages by using the hashtag 6 and for more on this, I'm joined live in Tokyo by Michael Dostasio, who's done a lot of work organising these large events. Michael, good to talk to you. Do you believe people will be less likely to attend these large gatherings in the future? Japan, for as long as I've been here, and that's decades, has always been about hygiene. So at the entrance to every place, there's somewhere to wash your hands, as in alcohol-based wash, and everybody does it. Uh, people wear masks in hay fever season. I'll just extend that. I think everybody wants to get back to doing normal stuff. Uh, I think the issue that will wipe out any fears, both in Japan and abroad, will be a vaccine. And when a vaccine comes in, everybody will forget about a whole lot of things associated with this. It's not called herd immunity. It's called a vaccine. And when enough people are vaccinated, the disease tends to become dormant. Michael, thank you. The federal government is set to appoint a chief mental health officer to help Australians dealing with the economic impact of the coronavirus pandemic. Associate Professor Ruth Vine will be taking the historic role working, working alongside Chief Medical Officer Brenton Murphy. It comes as experts fear a 50% increase of suicide is uh, directly linked to the economic impact. And remember, if you or anyone you know needs help, please contact Lifeline Beyond Blue or for our younger audience, Kids Helpline. The numbers are on your screen now. Controversial broadcaster Alan Jones has retired after more than 15 years at 2GB Radio. His breakfast show was the highest rating in Sydney for most of those 15 years. Jones has faced many controversies throughout his career, including alleged sexist remarks about women, including New Zealand PM Jacinta Ardern and former Prime Minister Julia Gillard. He will continue to work at Sky News and The Daily Telegraph. Rob McKnight has unleashed against Tim Smith after the Liberal MP called the Premier Chairman Dan. The QMP heavily criticised Dan Andrews over the lockdown laws, many, however, saying his attacks are unjustified. The thing is, if, what if Dan Andrews takes your advice, Tim Smith, and more people die? Will you take responsibility for those deaths? No, you just want to have a 
an argument in the backyard and snipe away when the real politicians, the real leaders are making decisions and actually thinking about the consequences of those decisions, not just trying to score cheap political points. You are a disgrace and you do not deserve to be in Parliament and I hope the people of Q vote you out at the next election like the piece of trash you are. Donald Trump has been slammed for ending a press conference abruptly, many labelling it the US President's media meltdown. Video of the press conference has gone viral. What crime exactly are you accusing President Obama of committing and do you believe the Justice Department should prosecute him? Uh, Obamagate. It's been going on for a long time. It's been going on from before I even got elected. And it's a disgrace that it happened. And if you look at what's gone on, and if you look at now all of this information that's being released, and from what I understand, that's only the beginning. Uh, some terrible things happened, and it should never be allowed to happen in our country again. And you'll be seeing what's going on over the next, over the coming weeks. But I, and I wish you'd write honestly about it, but unfortunately, you choose not to do so. Why is this a global competition to you if every day Americans are still losing their lives and we're still seeing more cases every day? Well, they're losing their lives everywhere in the world. And maybe that's a question you should ask China. Don't ask me. Ask China that question, okay? When you ask them that question, you may get a very unusual answer. Yes, behind you, please. What, sir, why are you saying that to me specifically? I'm telling you, I'm not saying it specifically to anybody. I'm saying it to anybody that would ask a nasty question that's like that. That's not a nasty question. Please question. go ahead. Why does it matter? Okay, uh, anybody else? I have two questions, Mr. Next. President. Next, please. But you, did, you called on me. I did, and you didn't respond, and now I'm calling on Sorry, I just the young lady in the back, please. I just wanted to let my colleague okay. finish, but can I ask you Ladies and gentlemen, please? thank you very much. Appreciate but it. You thank you very me. much. The AFL is on track for a season restart on June the 11th. Restrictions in WA and SA will see Fremantle, West Coast, Adelaide and Port Adelaide relocate to a Queensland hub. The first game is set to be a blockbuster between the Pies and the Tigers on Thursday night, just two days after, after the return of face-to-face -face learning for Victorian students between Year 3 to 10s. To tomorrow's forecast around the nation, Darwin cloudy getting up to a top of 34. Brisbane, heavy rain tomorrow, it's getting to a top of 23. Sydney, also some heavy rain, moving to a top of 19. Canberra, finally warming up, 17. Melbourne, a top of 18. Some clouds, Hobart, also cloudy, 16. Adelaide getting to a top of 21. And Perth, a top of 18. And that is six news for this Sunday evening. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for the latest updates. For all our viewers watching via Melfeed video, stick around because up next is a double of Harmony and Diversity. I'm Leonardo Puglisi. Thanks for your company. Good night.